Israel and see to put the Israelites into permanent bondage. So they said, let us deal with them wisely. Let's take counsel. Let's say multiply. And it come to pass that if any war falls out, amen, we want to stop it so that they don't join with our enemies. So is, could it be that there's a conspiracy for African Americans to do anything globally? That even if we go to do something across the waters or with other nations, that they'll begin to accuse us of drug racketing. Accuse us of money laundering or accuse us of area. You may be running a, a, a successful business, import and export. And it says, Urban Jordan is exporting some drugs across the borders. We've, he is now under investigation. Let me tell you something. You are in a system that is not your friend. Learn that well. Touch your neighbor and say, you need to learn this. The purpose of the oppressor, A, is to encourage others to oppress the undesirables. Do you not know that there are people arriving at the shores of America that have already have preconceived ideas about us as a people? B, institute policies, the purpose of the oppressor. Institute policies and laws to vex oppressed individuals. C, and to keep the oppressed from growing. Therefore, we must understand that the church cannot measure God's love towards them by, their, by the affection or the way the oppressed so treat them. But I want you to know that liberation is around the corner. But the thing that is going to free us is not a system, but it is God raising up a man to be a voice to challenge a system. In verse 11, the Bible lets us know, begin read verse 11 for me, Exodus 1.11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. Good. Set over them taskmasters to afflict them with, them with their burdens. A, the rich are often the taskmasters. B, sin is a taskmaster. It will enslave you. C, subtle counsel against African Americans soon bring forth cruel practices. In... We look at the situation in L.A. A Korean shoots a black girl in the black back of the head, and all she get is community service. You shoot someone in the back of the head. And let me see where you get community service. Are, are, are you following what I'm saying? Hit a dog and run. We're in a sick society that do not view us as people, that do not see us as human beings, that do not see us as individuals of self-worth, so they can do the evil that they do and go home and sleep at night because they do not see you as their neighbor. Amen. We must understand that the final death blow is in verse 22. Read verse 22. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born he shall cast into the river, and every daughter he shall save alive. Now, we begin to see here that the final death blow was the destruction of the male. Yeah. Okay. Come on. 
And church, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, we've got to bring this back home today. Here a decree goes out in verse 16, and he said, When ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall what? But if it be a daughter, then she shall what? Listen, our daughters are living, but I'm afraid to tell you that our sons are dying. And the fact that our sons are dying, when you destroy the man, you've destroyed the race. You're dying also. It's just a slower death. Mm -hmm. So you have your education. You have your degrees. You're in place. You're now saying, woman, I don't need a man. But you're dying a slow death. And what concerns me is that some of those same women are raising their children. They cannot produce in them manhood because the whole view of their understanding of men are men are no good. How can you reproduce something in someone? Amen. So therefore, we're under a strong matriarchal society. That's why the church has got to be the extension of the family, the extension of the home, where we can begin to put young boys into the hands of men that will help raise them and rear them and give them a sense of purpose and destiny. Those that don't, do you not know that over 60% of our black males will grow up without fathers in the home? So when we begin to look at this, we are forced to deal with some areas. And, but the midwives, thank God that she did not accept the job at Planned Parenthood. But the midwives feared God. And did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. So they did not vote yes for abortion. Until it grieves my spirit that we have men of God that's supposed to be preachers of the gospel that are saying amen and yes to abortion. Yes, let's bring them on too. And, 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 and like black picks up anybody cause that is, is, is a defeated people. So yes, let's bring them on too as a part of the team. Yes, we agree with those that are fighting for abortion. No, we don't. We vote no. Amen. 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 It's murder. It is. it is murder. And listen, you can close your eyes to abortion today. But when you get old, those that voted yes for abortion, the days will come where you may be trying to mumble to your children, let me leave. And they're going to say, no, you're in too much pain. We think you should leave. Let me live. I have a right to live. No, you didn't give us a right when we was in the womb. You gave up that right when you said yes to abortion. So you've given up that right as an elderly person. We don't think that you're in your sound mind. Matter of fact, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're saying, yes, you want to live, but you don't really want to live. And don't think we won't see it in our generation. Now they're starting mercy killing. It's beginning, see, these are just warm-ups. It's beginning to become acceptable in, design, in, in society. Hello, are, are, are you still here? So the king of Egypt called the midwives and said unto them, Why have you done this thing and have saved the, the, saved the men children alive? See, he, the, the oppressor is concerned about the men. We've got to get them first in prison. We've got to kill them. We've got to destroy them mentally. We've got to eliminate them. That's why we have officers today that can kill a black male and still be on the force, still serving. It's almost like they're commended. Mm -hmm. Can you at least remove their gun for them and put them on desk duty until... The case is over until we can find out what really happened because, I mean, they did shoot someone and they didn't have a gun. No, because a decree has gone out from the, out of the camp of the enemy, the oppressor. Why are you saving the men children? Alive. We don't want them alive. And the midwives said to the Pharaoh, um, because the Hebrew women are, just, are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are 
and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Therefore, God 